You're watching Endeavor TV with the Arnova 7B G2 tablet PC which costs only 99 euros here in Germany with the 4 gigabytes but you can extend the uh, um, space with a micro SD card so that's actually not a bad price. So we have a 7 inch screen, really nice um, processor inside which actually could support as far as I would say. Um, also ice cream sandwich we have um, dual touch full HD movie resolution capabilities, no HDMI though, so um, we will check all of that out in this video. Um, on the back you can see some more information, but actually it's not that interesting what Arcos uh, or Arnova is saying here on the back. We only have Android 2.3 installed, but we will compare it also to some different 7-inch tablets that we have here in the background. So let's see what we have inside the box. Who, who would have known it's a tablet? So. We have the tablet itself, we will check that out in a minute. And first we will see what else we have here inside. First, some paperwork, um, legal information, $10 music card for e-music, that's not bad. Um, a quick manual in German, English, actually in seven languages, so that's not bad. How to use the icons um, and what plugs do what things. Then we have English, whoops. French and other information for legal and safety. Then a micro USB um, connector, so you can transfer the four gigabytes of space on your Arnova. And actually you can charge with that also because the charger is micro USB. Yay, finally Arnova and Arcos. Thank you much for that. Um, charger is not too big, you already know that from other um, countries or other versions. We have the American, UK and the European um, yeah, part for that, so you can use it worldwide. You can actually charge anything worldwide with this little charger, so that's pretty nice if you are on the go. You can charge also your iPhone or anything with that. Um, actually, let me check. We have um, 1.5 ampere output, so you can even charge your iPad with this. So that's not bad. Tablet itself, that's of course the interesting part. Let's take off this. Foil. We don't need that right now and it looks really nice. We have a little border here, but that's not that horrible. On the back it's plastic and glossy and you can see a lot of fingerprints here and we have some um, rubberish feet designed by Arcos. So actually this is not a, uh, a fake, it's really Arcos who's producing these but under a different label because Arcos is the high end. Um, and so let's check out the ports if my camera can focus or not. Actually, we don't have here anything. We have a headphone port, a micro USB port. Below that is the micro SD card reader, and we have the power on and off switch, and that's it. There's nothing else on any other side of this device. Let me put in the micro SD card actually, uh, so we can check out full HD movies in a second. The micro SD sticks actually out a little bit here in the back. But it's not that bad, it's just like one millimeter. So the device turned on automatically after putting in that micro SD. I think it's a little bit too bright for you to see anything, so let me turn that down, um, which goes really fast actually here in Android 2.3 point something. So this is better. We have the German menu here, but I don't think that's that horrible. Let's check out which Android version it's. Exactly, it's 2.3.1 um, and as I said, there will probably be some hackers out there that will port uh, ice cream sandwich on this, I guess because there's really a lot of Arcos and Anova hackers. So as you can see, that's the standard background and actually it's not that slow, but the screen is, um, I would say, uh, resistive, not capacitive, um, but it feels actually not that bad. Let's go into the gallery. And let's browse through some test pictures, which have uh, 5 megapixels. And as you can see, that's not that slow. And we can actually zoom in also multi-touch, but only with two fingers. But yeah, it could be a little bit more Apple-like, but I mean, I'm not um, complaining for 100 bucks, so that's actually not that bad in, ca in performance. But let's go out again. We don't have a home button or anything outside, so we always have to use the software buttons like an ice cream sandwich, but at least there we have them always here. 
they are just um, there when Arcos told the software to be there. So what else? We have a video player, which I have to hit of course exactly. And we have a full HD movie for you here as a test. Just a few minutes. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, a little one minute part. And it's amazing that this little player plays a full HD MKV movie, which some Tegra 2 devices actually even kind of don't want to play. So this is really nice. It plays smoothly and the sound isn't that bad either. What else? We have of course some a standard Ice Age AVI here for your demonstration that it plays of course also some standard movie from the side you can see the um, it's not too bad from the side also so actually this is a standard AVI movie and the maximum brightness uh, maximum speaker loudness is actually not good enough as far as I would say it. Uh, we have to be really in a quiet room to hear this movie as you see, I, I'm talking and it's not that loud in the background. So, yeah, that's not perfect, but the, um, not everything can be perfect. So, let's see what we have here. Also, music, of course. Let's play one of my favorite songs by Kimbra. You can hear. It's not that bad. Actually, we have two speakers on both sides and we even have a webcam built in. So, let's go into the webcam while this music is playing. Let me open up the menu and camera. I think the music will shut down once I open the camera. No, it's not. So, you can see my webcam right here. It's a Microsoft webcam, but it does full HD and yeah, it's really fast and we could do a <laughs> endless mirror scene right here. So, this is not that bad for Skyping. And what else do we have here? We have Office Suite Pro installed, of course some eBuddy email and AppSlip. We don't have the Google market on here, but as I said, there's a really, um, there are really a lot of forums which help you with that. So actually, I think this is enough for a quick check on how this little fella works. I like it for 99 euros. It's a really nice device. And let's see how it looks like compared to the Arcos 7DB which cost 100 actually more, but the screen is better and we have an HDMI output on this one, but actually everything else is the same, okay, uh, except for this awesome feature. I really love the kickstand right here. So this is really nice. And we don't want the music anymore here, so let's turn that off. Um, so yeah, in thickness and everything else, it's actually the same, nothing special. So let's compare it to a BlackBerry Playbook, which costs uh, only 200 back bucks in the 16 gigabyte version and has a micro HDMI out also. So in thickness, it's about the same, but uh, in weight, it's a lot more and in size, it's a lot bigger also. I mean, wider at least. You can see it right here. It's at least one centimeter wider. <coughs> and then we have, of course, something called the iPad. I don't know if you hear of that. Um, in thinness, of course, the iPad is a little bit better. Not much, but a little bit. And yeah, in size, it's, well, different. I don't have a Kindle here for you for a comparison with that, but um, you can really use the Arnova, of course, as an ebook reader also. So thank you very much for watching Endeavor TV. My name is Balaj Gal. Till next time, tune in again. This was the Arnova 70B G2 tablet PC here at Munich. Till next time, tune in again.